Okay, so I just rented a bike here along the waterfront and we're just gonna round off today with doing a quick bike tour of Halifax. I didn't come here on the first day because it was raining but there's all of this stuff here Okay, so I just did the gear, so now I have control of this thing. So let's just go looking through the waterfront. So I'm going to try and get to the ferry terminal so I can cross to Dartmouth on the other side. And learn to film horizontally. Just a quick photo stop and back we go. Okay, there's a squeaky sea bridge, so let's try and go through here. Actually, I'm going to have to walk the bike. It's very crowded. Actually, it's moving as well. Okay, that was the wobbly bridge and let's continue. Okay, here's the ferry terminal. So I'm going to be going, I guess that's the Dartmouth one going to the left. Okay, that's not my ferry. I think that's my ferry arriving. Yeah, that's good. Okay, there it is Halifax. I crossed over to Dartmouth now to figure out how to get to that bridge. Okay, here's a little bit of downtown Dartmouth. I actually did the same ferry crossing in Vancouver, which you can check on my bike blog. Okay, I see the bridge. Um, I did the same bridge crossing in Vancouver as well, the Lionsgate Bridge. So once I figure out how to get there, we'll be crossing the bridge. Okay, we've made it to the bridge. Just have to get into the right lane now and not get killed. Okay, so this is gonna be a big long bridge. I remember when I did the Lionsgate Bridge in Vancouver, it was really long and really freaky because I do not like heights. So hopefully I will survive to the other side.
Can you say height anxiety? I cannot go on the outside lane. Okay, coming near the end, I mean, the Lionsgate Bridge was much longer and much higher, and that one was much more freakier. This one isn't as bad. But just be warned if you have issues with heights. Now I get to slide downhill. And I have to figure out my bearings on this side now, how to get back to the city centre, which is basically there. Okay, so it looks like it's looping me back down. Oh, here's a good photo of stop. So selfies are very important. So let's continue our journey now. This is bikeway ends. It's forcing me to go up here, but I'll just come back down again. Okay, I know where I am now. I just have to go back down here. There's the historic district. So we'll make our way back there. This car wants to just come back into the historic area here. So I'm just trying to oops, navigate on a hill and a camera in one hand. Okay, we're just going to go uphill for a block and turn right here. This is the other historic um, area, so let me just turn around. Okay. It's kind of like Gastown in Vancouver. Or St. Lawrence area in Toronto. Okay, this is the other uh, historic area. Okay, let's do a turn around. Try and get somewhere else now. Hello, here I am in Halifax. Okay, let's cross the road. So we're back to the ferry terminal where we started. We crossed and let's just go a bit more through downtown. So I'm going to turn left here. Oh good, there's a bike lane. Okay, let's just follow this. So there's the provincial legislature where I came this morning. Check out my other video for historic downtown Halifax. All right, I think that's about it. I can just sort of head back slowly, just look at a few more buildings. This is Citadel, I'm not going back there. This is the Halifax Club, I think it's like a private member's place, so you can't go in there. Now it's just office buildings. We're back to the Lieutenant Governor's house I came this morning behind these railings. You can just see it there. Here's another historic building here. Actually, I'm going to turn around. Um, we'll just pass through a few more historic buildings. So there's another video where I went inside that for the uh, historic buildings in Halifax. Just going back to the waterfront. Okay, lots of waterfront condos. Let's just go back. 
back. It's going to get very crowded here again. Oh look, there's that guy in the shadow again. Um, okay, just some activity going on along the waterfront. That I believe is St. George's Island. It's a historic island, but you're not allowed on there unless you have a private boat. So just have to find the bike rental place now. Okay, I found the bike rental place. I'm just going to do one more loop round. Actually, these, those coloured things ugh, just swerve. Those coloured things, that's the bike rental place. So, remember to check out my other bike blogs in the links for Japan, Korea, Cambodia, Taiwan, Vancouver, Montreal, Reykjavik. Um, Budapest, Zagreb. Okay, so enjoy. Okay, we've just completed. We're just coming back to where we started from. So I'll just return the bikes now. <laughs> 